Let's get it. Hop off a 16 passenger. This a G5. No, this not a challenger. Big one. I keep some members with me in the fridge. The coat seats. They some cannibals. Eat us. They like the geek geek. Drink a whole bottle. Wake up and repeat. Damn. She took a look. Mixed it with the chill out. Now she says she said. Hey guys. Welcome to my channel. And welcome to another video. I wanted to do a quick update um, on a story that I did earlier in the week about uh, Grandma Holla. I had several people reach out on the video and was concerned about the tense I used in reference to her. I did put a note in the video, but I guess you guys didn't see that or choose to read it. For my extensive research, although I did see a video that referenced that she may no longer be with us, um, but through the research, I see no proof that she has passed away. She is still um, alive and she is uh, dealing with uh, medical issues as we speak. Shell, which is Grandma Holla's granddaughter and also her primary caretaker has asked for prayers because as we all know, Grandma Holla has cancer, but she is currently going through the advanced stages of cancer and has not been feeling well. That's why there's no new content, she said. That's why she hasn't been going live. That's why she does not have Facebook. But I wanted to come to you guys uh, and talk about another situation. Um, you know, there is some controversy going on behind the scenes with the family. Some people are unhappy about her being put on uh, social media. But if you look at her, especially when she's live and talking to people, she's having a time of her life. During the toughest battle she's facing, she actually is able to smile. Grandma Holland's granddaughter, Shell, has found a way to make her uh, last days on earth enjoyable to her. She's found a way to create a revenue stream that allows her to stay home and give Hala 100% of her time and attention without basically living in poverty. And I'm not sure why people don't like that. They even called APS on her, which is Adult Protective Services, saying that something was wrong. Now, Hala does, uh, you know, have a very colorful uh attitude and a colorful personality and I think that's what people like about her. Um, she's able to express herself through video and uh, through stories that they tell and they are entertaining. Now I don't think her children cared up until the point that there was a lot of money being made. Um, as a matter of fact I heard that there's some money of hers missing. So I don't know the deal on that, but basically I wanted to confirm that as far as I know, she is still with us, but her granddaughter is asking for prayers as like I said, she is suffering through the advanced stages of cancer and um, has not been feeling well, spending most of her days sleeping. So with that, I mean, I'm sure it is hard to deal with. I don't believe she's on hospice anymore, but at one time she actually was. She was doing better, so they decided to pull her off of that, which is a blessing within itself. But you guys should definitely go check out their channel if you have not already. A Frappe Laughs and Let's Tickets. Let's get it. Hop off a 16 passenger. This a G5. No, this not a challenger. Big one. I keep some members with me in the fridge. The coat seats. They some cannibals. Eat us. They like the geek geek. Drink a whole bottle, wake up and repeat. Damn. She took a look, mixed it with the chill out. Now she say she saying 3D. Wow. I go in the jungle and ain't got a coat. I bet I come out with a meme. I bet I do this shit for the fam. Cause this 